Hey soccer players, this is Soccer Basement Trainings Video 1 Faints, where we're sitting here in my basement. It's winter time. Everyone we hear from our players all the time, everyone says, Coach, I can't train at home. I need all this fancy equipment. I need this outside space. There's a foot of snow on the ground. It's too cold. I don't have the space at home. Well, I'm in a one, two, three, about four yards by about one, two, three, four yards box. I have one cone, my soccer ball. This is an old coffee table that I turned upside down to pass the ball into for some of the videos. You have to work with the stuff you have. Whenever you say, I can't train because whatever's about to follow is an excuse. You have to find a way around it, especially living in the north during the winter time. So we're going to show you a couple very simple drills that you can do at home, in your basement, or in your garage with no space. If you're having trouble with the ball bouncing too much because you're on cement, you might want to get a futsal ball. Those are designed to bounce less. So what we're going to do today with the feints, we're going to work on four. Um, so I'm not going to use the rebound wall. I'm just going to use the cone. The first one is a simple. You fake with the outside of one foot behind the ball, and you take with the outside of the other. So I'm going this way. I point my toe sort of down and in. I fake with the outside of one foot, point my toe down and in, take with the outside of the other. So it's a quick movement behind the ball of just pop, pop. Now, what some people do when they get into footwork training, especially in a tight space, they do the move. Okay, I got it. Okay, I got it. But the whole idea when you do a move is you not only need to change direction, you need to change pace. So even though we only have a little bit, so we're not going to have to do a huge sprint, we have to have that burst afterwards. So, from any angle, it doesn't matter. You know, you just approach the cone, quick, outside, outside. And you get that little burst, like you're getting separation from the defender. So you come up, outside, outside. So, change directions, change it, right, go over with it. So now you go left, right. Just quick little burst. The next one we're going to do is the classic scissors. If you stand to one side of the ball, so I'll do it this way so you can see it. I'm sitting on the left side of the ball. I fake around the front of the ball with the outside of my right. I point so my toe down and in, and I take away with the outside of my left. Or, for the other way, I stand on the right of the ball. I fake around the front with the outside of my left. Take away with the outside of my right. And it's the same thing they were talking about before. We want that burst of speed. So you sort of dribble up. We'll step. And make sure you get that little, little bit of speed, whatever side you come in on. So, take with the left, take with the right, little dribble. Then you come up, take with the right, take with the left, little dribble. I'm not going far, but that little burst, little acceleration get you used to it. The next one, the V with the inside of the foot. So, I'm going to roll it back with the sole, push it with the inside of the same foot. So, that that defender is lunging at you, and you're pulling around them. The key, though, I'll do it this way so you can see. If I'm going to use my right foot, I want to go to the left side of the cone so I can pull it back around the cone like so. If I'm using my left foot, I want to go to the right side of the cone so I can pull it back. So, you dribble up, I'll use the right foot first. So pull, pull, little burst. Then maybe I step over here, I use the left foot. So I go to the right, pull, pull, push, and you're out. So once again, the whole idea is you approach, quick little move, make sure you get that change of direction, and make sure you get that change of pace. The last one we're going to do is the step over. Now some people don't like this move because it takes a little longer to pull off, but what's nice about it, it's good for agility, balance, coordination. All the foot skill ones are, not just for moves, for foot skills as well. So if I stand to the right of the ball, I fake with the inside of my right foot, I kick my left foot out, I take away with the outside of my right. Or, I stand to the left of the ball, I fake with the inside of my left, kick that right leg out, take away the outside of my left. So, this one, because it takes a little bit longer to pull off, you have to start a little bit further back. So you switch forward, sort of in, in, out. Right? So, try to get that little burst as you dribble up. So it's time to go left foot, little burst. So, switch the angles up, do the foot, 
Do the same foot over and over. Alternate back and forth, whatever works. Go, sort of go through those four sequences. It improves your touch, your quickness, your change of pace, your acceleration. You do all that stuff, you're gonna have fun, you're gonna get better.